It is Monday, December 16, and this is my eighth round of chemo. And uh, look who's back! <laughs> Hi. Hi. How was your trip to the Philippines? Tired. Tired? From last 30 to minus 30. Yeah, it's really cold outside, so my dad's going from the heat to the snow. You guys want to see what happens when Filipinos go for chemotherapy? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Pancit in the station. From Tita Beng. Yeah, explain, explain, Mother. I'll let you talk and this feature is, in my blog. Um, pancit, which is the Filipino version of the Chinese noodles. But this is Filipino noodles. So I went to Beng's house to thank her for providing parking for Natalie every Monday. And she asked me to come in and say, there's lots of food, there's lots of food, bring lunch for Natalie. So here we are. So here we are, and now the entire eighth floor of the Jewish General Oncology Hospital smells like a Filipino's home. And she brought, she Look gave us some desserts too. Yeah. No hospital food. Nope. And soup. We got Sotang, the real deal. Sotanghon noodles too. So thank you to Tita Bang, not only for parking, but for giving us food. Free parking and free lunch. Shit, Filipinos do at the hospital. <laughs> and then my phone died. <laughs> my phone died at the hospital, so I wasn't able to tell you guys all the crazy, important, interesting things I have to say. <laughs> Plus, I fell asleep, and then I'm home, but it's now midnight, so now I'm wide awake, and my schedule is really messed up. But I actually wasn't feeling well after my eighth round of Taxol. Got home and my stomach was aching, so I went straight to bed. And that's the first, but my nurses said, it's a bit obvious, but the more rounds you do, the more um, toxic, well, more the chemo is in your system, right? So I guess the more severe the symptoms become because I started feeling that numbing and tingling sensation in my fingers, the one that they told me to look out for because it could become dangerous. They say that I can possibly lose the touch. You know, not only are my nails black, but it feels like, you know, when your feet fall asleep? Well, now it's like that, but my for my fingertips. But it comes and it goes. So my nurse for now said to just keep an eye on it, see if it gets any worse. Because if it does, then I might have to skip a round of chemo and give my body a good two weeks of rest so that I don't permanently lose my sense of touch. We do not want that happening. So to anyone doing Taxil out there, look out for that symptom because uh, you need to tell your nurse about it. All right, what else? Um, today, you know how I keep talking about my 0.3% of women under 30 who are diagnosed with breast cancer? That's the tiny chance there is out there. Well, um, I started my blog really because obviously, you know, it's my release and I wanted to inspire others. But I also wanted to find that 0.3%. And um, a while back, I to already told you guys about this, but I've been receiving emails from girls in their 20s. And there's this girl in particular named Kaylin, and she sent me um, an email saying she was going through the same diagnosis as me. And uh, she also told me that apparently I inspired her, you know, to take her her fight online and be a little bit more open about it. And before she wouldn't have never posted anything about her cancer on her Instagram, let's say. And today she did. And it was just so cool to see because we were both like in our chemo chairs together. And she was like, hi, in the picture. And we were glowing. And so I was like, oh, my God, we're going through the same thing. And... Um, it's awesome. So I took that picture because I thought she was beautiful in it, posted on my Instagram. And just because of that post alone, under it, I found three other girls in their 20s who also had breast cancer. Clearly something's not right, whether it's in the stats or whether it's in the world we live in. But women are getting younger and younger every time and it's nuts we used to think that breast cancer only happened to women in their 50s in fact they'd only give mammograms to women if they're 40 years old and up so 
something needs to change and I'm going to try to figure out what that is.